All right, thank you to the powers that be for sharing this video with me this night. The Trail of Tears, they knew it was wrong. This was a video created back in April 2012. What she's explaining is that, um, let me see if I can reiterate this. The uh, Cherokee Nation, or the Indian tribes named Cherokee at that time, this was back in 1835 or prior to, um, were being subjected to entities trying to claim or stake claim or encroach on the lands, right? Um, in a group, a small group, maybe between 30 or so within this tribe, um, felt it was in their best interest to sign some sort of a treaty. They knew that in signing the treaty, however, they'd be committing suicide because they were not in charge in any capacity whatsoever. At the same time, I think it was Andrew Jackson doing business as president. Um, he came on board. He was on board. And at that time, his whole agenda was in land theft and all the peonage and stuff that was committed after that fact. Now, um, there was a man, I think his name was Marshall or somebody who, um, there's a few different people actually that one in particular got about 15,600 signatures from us heirs um, that was signed uh, against this so-called treaty and to save our lands. He was seconded to go into Congress to present the petition. The day he was scheduled to appear, Congress adjourned that day, claiming there was a duel and they were mourning for one of the, the agents had died in this duel or something some sort of fraud. Anyways, long story short, the trail of tears took place. Now, how we look back at our tribes, you guys do the very same for your tribe. Okay. Our elders were seconded or subject to traveling. Okay. Under the auspices, they were teachers. Our, um, our tribe as the Mullings, Campbells, um, uh, there's a whole host of us um, they were well educated. Um, some of them were politicians. Some of them were nurses. Some of them were teachers. Some were um, lawyers. Um, all these different fields they were in at that time, right? And they were uh, uh, caught. They got caught up in the notion that in traveling to um, what is now known as New York City, um, Washington D.C. Um, Florida, uh, we have a lot of um, people in Andalusia, um, and different parts, England, different parts of the globe, they were told that they were going to have a better existence, right? They were going to have access to finances and all kinds of stuff. Now, initially, it looked good, because when we arrived in Canaanite land, even though I was originally from there and then went back there back in 1975, I was just little at the time. We were traveling back and forth by auto to New York City to visit our extended tribe, our extended family members, like practically every weekend because we were that close growing up, right? Now, when we used to travel to see one another, I would notice that everyone was really happy to be reunited. However, there were moments in their, um, when they were reunited that they would start to cry about how they were being treated in that particular location that they had now um, been subject to via human trafficking. So they would start to describe some of the undue hardship that they were subjected to. And that's when I started realizing that maybe this human trafficking wasn't such a good idea. See where I'm going? Now, when we were subject to human trafficking via the Children's Aid Society with stealing our baby like months after he was born, um, and we were subject to something else where, for whatever reason, I was not able to access the foods that we had grown. I think we had a garden or something. And I was, oh, or the baby wasn't able to access some of the, the foods, like we were eating organic stuff, and he liked blueberries. That was like his major thing. My other child liked strawberries, right? And so um, we didn't have access to it. 
and that was affecting our health because the foods that we're accustomed to, like I would have to travel to West Indian grocery stores to get our cultural foods that we were reared with, right? Our green bananas, our yams, our provisions, right? Which were astronomical in fees. Mangoes were astronomical and don't even compare to what you get here. So I started noticing there was a difference in our health. There was a difference in our socialization, a difference in the way we were communicating. And what was happening with the social engineering was we started to change as a culture, as a people. So what we see here now is clowns. And you guys know I don't like clowns, right? So you, they have the young people wearing these socks. You know those clown socks that are different colors? That's the style with their underwear showing, right? That's the style. It's mind, fuck, it's mind control, right? And so the mental slavery that they're subjected to, that they don't realize, like if they were to stop and look in the mirror and say, this is what I'm pre presenting to the universe today, this clown uniform, right? they would probably not put that on. And some of these are friends and people that we um, are vendors and different things that we go to that wear these clown costumes. My point being is that the culture shifted, it changed as a result of the foods and the things that we were no longer having access to. And so when Copper Aborigines now is explaining the delegation of authority, first time I heard the meaning of the word or that word delegation was from Grand Sheikh Taj Street Bay. I didn't know what it meant. Now, if we're supposed to use the Bible, the Ten Commandments is what the, all the people in the comment section is saying. I'm going to see if I can read some of it here. And I want to thank all the people globally who are into tonics and into all our natural remedies for our health because those of us who are conscious and stuff, who use it constantly, whether it's bitters or stuff to combat some of the environmental hazards that we're subjected to in the food industry too. Um, yeah, a huge thank you to all those herbalists globally. Now, um, Copper Aborigines is explaining that a delegation is an American Indian government that the representatives of the American Indians as its people Remember, Sister Noble L, the United States took our hat and added it to the president, to their president first. He's their commander in chief. Then he's a sheriff, the sultan. Um, Copper Aberdeen just say you can prove this in um, the letter sent by George Washington to the sultan. And there's other things hidden. I, the message was um, cut. Copper averages. So just send the rest of that stuff so we can see what it says. Now, somebody else commented about deliverance, and I thought it was a very poignant definition. Let me see if I can read that now. Um, and others of you have written to me about situations you're going to, you're going through. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can bring this up. David Seth um, responds, Kingdom Country. You guys, the templates are already created, so all you have to do is write to us at themollies at gmail.com. We do ask for a donation for a time. Tell us what you can afford, and if you have to send donations, send us a donation schedule or whatever. Um, so we can send you the books and the information so you can continue your, your research, right? We suggest you become a secured party creditor first, secure up the straw man, whether you lean up the straw man or you copyright the name or you send in the identity theft affidavit to the proper authorities, the FBI, what have you. Then, as you know from listening to us, there were GSA bonds created on us and checks and stuff, right? These entities were supposed to go and pay the taxes on those tax, those checks that they created. So they're doing tax evasion. Tax evasion, they're supposed to have a tax exempt letter from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico, which they don't have. They're supposed to have a foreign registration statement and an anti-bribery statement and a delegation of authority order. Now, my think, thinking is, what came to me recently, is the delegation of authority comes from God. Is that true? So we, the heirs, have a covenant with God over who owns the land. So what they were doing was creating these um, auspices where they were trying to give the land to these United States citizens with these treaties and these, um, what do you call those, contracts that said what? 
they had to pay the taxes on those said lands, tribute to us heirs. So they collected these tributes on our behalf and forgot to give it to us. So we now heirs, the reason why our ancestors keep speaking to us every five seconds, and we can't turn a corner without an angel saying, you got to go and do this, is because the, the angels and the ancestors, they were um, cheated out of their lands, as cheated whatever, estate theft, peonage, land theft, what have you, and now they're, they're reclaiming the lands through us as the ancestors returned and stuff. So you do the GSA bonds, the SF30, 14, 14, 14, 16, 14, 18, the performance bond, the bid bonds, the payment bonds, the GSA 90 and 91, the letter of rogatory, the notice of set off, and the foreign affidavit. You think I'm reading this stuff right? I'm not. It's coming off my head. And then you do the MSO document, and then you do the non-UCC and whatever else that comes to you through your angel guides, basically. You can email us for those templates and the 1099 OID. You can go back and claim, they said it's 2 million per charge now. You can go back to our older videos that they'd sent. It was 50,000 plus 3,000 a day, right? Which is why we're saying to them to set free those people with nonviolent offenses. Why? Because they're going to have to pay them, right? For those set charges. Okay, so what we do here is try to what? As angel guides, we're just trying to say, listen, something's happening in the universe. Mother Nature's talking to you. And we're just trying to prevent some shit happening to everyone globally too, right? Because it looks like what the angels are teaching us and sharing with us here, you guys can email us at themullings at gmail.com. If you find these videos helpful and you want to support us, you can donate to us on PayPal. We don't have access to um, all those other cash app stuffs yet. But you can donate to us on PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. Tom, Harry, Edward, Mary, Umbrella, Lamp, Lamp, Ice, Nancy, George, Sam at gmail.com. What the angels, gods, the ancestors are telling us now is, the question is, is the oil companies, the utility companies behind the so-called gang leaders, is that what's going on? Are they using those gang members to attack the heirs or the people who are the uh, true heirs who are asleep, known as taxation, tickets, citations, mortgages, foreclosures, child support, loans, all that crap. You see where I'm going? That's why you do tax what? Avoidance as heirs. You can't do that, though, until you're in your what? Correct status. Um, David Seth writes, kingdom, country, domain, dominion, empire, nation, province, realm, sphere, state, territory, dominion, empire, monarchy, realm, sovereignty, kingdoms, demises, mm, domains, dominions, um, expires, estates, monarchies, nations, realm, states, territories, redemption, atonement, expiation, liberation, ransom, reclamation, recovery, release, rescue, retrieval, salvation, atonement, compensation, discharge, expiation, fulfillment, identification, ransom, recovery, repurchase, rescue, retrieval, salvation, satisfaction, redemption. Yesterday I heard some, oh, I was so pissed out. There's a lady that does a radio um, thing program on Sundays here. And I think she means well. But I'm so, like, I don't listen to the radio. We don't watch TV. We don't get involved in any of this crap, basically. But when you're in the public, sometimes these taxi drivers or the buses will turn on the radio. And you get to hear some of the garbage these um, so-called black leaders are promoting. And they were talking about this ship that apparently they discovered yesterday or whatever that it was. What happened was, and it might be a true story, but it was just pissing me off because... They were beating these drums, right? And they were saying they were giving honor to the ancestors and that um, how they were killed and they were thrown off this boat. And then these um, boat owners had an insurance on them, which probably is true because we know it's an insurance case. What I didn't like was trying to put us all into that slave ship because not all of us were on that slave ship and not all of us were slaves. So they, they kept 
repeating the story over and over and over again and how horrific it was. And it was like mind control. And I had to tell the bus driver, turn it off. <sighs> if that same lady would put some energy towards doing some of this stuff and telling the people to claim their correct nationality and stuff. She was talking about the ancestors, which was very great, except the angel gods were saying, tell the people the freaking truth so they can get free from this treasonous system too, because the slave ship never ended, okay? It's known as paper genocide. So if they would talk about that for a minute, maybe we can get some help, right? Repurchase of captured goods of prisoners or prisoners, the act of procuring the deliverance of persons or things from the possession and power of captors for the, by the payment of an equivalent ransom release as a redemption of prisoners taken in war, the redemption of a ship and cargo. Um... So Copper Aborigines writes, we pick the delegates from among ourselves first, meaning you, me, and those who are Indians, and study the Civil Rights Act. This is the start. The instructions is right there, and any leader or anyone using the words black, we must stay away from them. They're been, they've been trained to keep us um, using, they've been trained to keep using the word black or African-American they are not Indians regardless of their liked, if they're liked or not. Anyone using that to describe us are the enemies to Indians because they're using the Civil Rights Act for their organizations of secret societies, label black organizations. So my point being from the original story was that though my elders had traveled and though they were living in what looked like great brownstones, and big mansion houses, and they had lots of what we call monies, and they were riding with people with planes, and they knew Condoleezza Rice, and they knew all these heads, right? They were still being subject to garbage known as fraud, treason, genocide, peonage, and identity theft. And at the end of the day, when they would call us crying for help, and we tried to do our best because we were still not fully conscious of what really was going on. And we tried to tell them it was identity theft, but they were friends with the Federal Reserve money note system. And you see, we couldn't talk to them because <laughs> they couldn't hear us because they had lots of what? Federal Reserve notes. And then when their um, Caucasian entities went against them and stuff that they had linked up with, it was like, what the hell? So I say this to say that in each of your family tribes now, go back and listen and remember. My um, elders told us what I learned I shall remember. You have to pay to learn. We have a saying in our culture, mana plan and God a wipe. Man is planning and God is wiping clean. So when man is sitting at the table planning out for the next 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, that same man will not be on the planet. You see what I'm saying? So those of us ancestors returned here as angel gods were trying to correct some wrongs. So what? So everyone can live in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and equality, right? Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. Remember, go drink some bitters. Go connect with the tonic people that are making herbs. <laughs> Drink some herbs to flush out the crap in the food system that all of us are subject to when we're traveling on the roadway now. And um, yeah, just clean house, man. And thank you to all those herbalists globally and all the powers that be, Copper Aborigines, Mike Emmett, to all of you in the comment section and all of you guys writing to us for information. Remember, if you find these videos supportive and helpful, you can donate to us. You can go to PayPal and donate to us on the mullings at gmail.com. Tom Harry Edward, Mary Umbrella Lamp Lamp, Ice Nancy George Sam at gmail.com. And remember, correct your status. Claim your navel, your bloodline, your birthright.